Hi, the topic for this video is managing the swap partition. So we are going to learn how to create a new swap partition. So before we begin, let us understand what is swap space. A swap space is a reserved space on your hard disk or your SSD that acts as a virtual memory when your RAM is full. So we know that the recent or frequently accessed data or the active pages are put in the RAM. But what happens when your RAM gets full? So the swap space comes into play, which is nothing but a portion of your hard disk or your SSD. So those the inactive pages in the RAM, they are put into this swap space. So this prevents the system from getting crashed when your RAM is overloaded. So roughly we can say that the RAM plus swap space forms your virtual memory. Although uh, there's a concept of paging and all those things, but roughly we can say this. Now let us see in theory, what are the steps for creating the swap partition and then we will see the practical. So more or less the steps are exactly same as we have done in the previous video on creating a partition, except for a few changes. So the first step remains the same. You can list the available disks and select one of them for the partitioning which will act as the swap partition let us suppose we again choose the dev sdc so then you need to request for a new partition by pressing n and then the p key specify the partition number the first sector and the total size so you can take 1 gb 2 gb 3 gb whatever you want Next, you need to specify the partition type. So this is the first difference. Here, you need to press T and select 82 Linux swap. In case of a simple partition, it was Linux. Next, you need to save the partition table by pressing the W key. Then you need to reload the partition table. Then you need to make the kernel reread the partition table using part probe command. Now, you need to create the file system. So here you will use the command mkswap. Then comes making the partition persistent. So you again, you need to edit the etc fs tab file. Finally, you can activate it if you want by using the swap on command. Now let us see these steps in practical. So let us begin by listing the available disk by lsblk. So I'll use the STC disk to create a swap partition. F disk slash TEV slash STC. N for new partition. P for primary. Default partition number. Let's go with the default first sector. Size of, let's suppose 2.5 GB. So the existing partition, swap partition is of 2 GB here. You can see swap 2 GB. So I'll create now a 2.5 GB swap partition. All right, so it says that created a new partition one of type Linux and size is 2.5. Now this partition contains the XFS signature. Uh, this is from the previous video wherein we created the partition and we mounted a XFS file system using MKFS command. So it says, do you want to remove that? So let's say yes. So next we will change the type of the partition so for that you need to press the T key so you can say it says selected partition one now it asks you that what is the hex code so for knowing the hex code you need to press capital L so it says type L to list all as discussed earlier it has to be 82 so 82 you can see here Linux swap okay so 82 is the code Linux swap is the type okay so you will type here 82 change the partition the type of the partition to from the Linux to Linux swap next press W to update the partition table part probe slash tev slash stc and if we check lsplk you can see now stc 
टू पॉइंट फाइव जी बी पार्टीशन ओके नेक्स्ट वी विल फॉर्मेट दिस बाई यूजिंग एम के स्वैप स्लैश डी ई वी स्लैश एस टी सी वन सो द पार्टीशन इज फॉर्मेटेड नेक्स्ट वी कैन मेक इट परसिस्टेंट बाय एडिटिंग द ई टी सी एफ एस टैफ फाइल सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ एन एंट्री वी नीड टू मेक हेयर स्लैश टी ई वी स्लैश एस टी सी वन हेयर यू लाइट स्वैप अगेन स्वैप डिफॉल्ट जीरो एंड जीरो ओके सो दैट्स इट कंट्रोल एक्स सेव एंड एग्जिट and finally we need to type in the command swap on hyphen a to check for any errors there is no error the swap partition is created